In this short video, we'll discuss the difference between discrete and continuous date dimensions. There is other discussion on other non-date dimensions from a discrete versus continuous perspective. That's a topic for another video for another day. It's much more significant when it comes to dates. All right, I'm analyzing sales on the rows shelf. I'm now going to drag order date to the column shelf, and Tableau displays order date at the year level. If I would like to click the plus sign and continue the drill down through the hierarchy process, I can do that. Minus drills back up. If I want to change the year level directly to month, I can drop down arrow or right click and choose month and now have a month level. All right, not related necessarily to discrete versus continuous, a shortcut. If you know you want to go directly to the month level, on Windows, right click, drag, order date to columns. On Mac, we're going to option drag order date to columns, and in both cases, a drop field dialog appears, and you can pick month right off. Little shortcut. All right, real quick distinction between month of order date on columns and sum of sales on rows. We see a light blue coloring for order date on columns and a light green coloring for sales on rows. We also see blue icons indicating data types in the dimensions box and green icons indicating data types in the measures box. The immediate assumption is that dimensions are colored blue and measures are colored green. Well, let's watch this. I'm going to go to my columns shelf. I'm going to drop down arrow on month of order date. Rather than the first month entry in the menu, I will check, this, check the second month, May 2011 entry in the menu. The chart changes, and the month of order date changes to green. Well, that breaks that whole dimensions measures blue-green paradigm we just discussed. Let's clear it up. In fact, blue does not indicate dimensions, and green does not indicate measures. Blue indicates discrete fields, and green indicates continuous fields. 99% of the time, you don't have to worry about it. Tableau takes care of things, and things just behave. Dates are an exception. Dates can be treated as either discrete or continuous, and you see a very significant difference in the way the chart displays. If we go back to the first month that displays as a blue entry on the column shelf, we see what we refer to as a discrete month of date. In this case, I have a January point, a February mark, a March mark, all the way through December for every year in the data source all rolled up into single marks. I have 12 marks down here in my status bar. If we change month with the drop down arrow to the second month entry, we see a green month up here in columns. We now see a very different chart with 48 marks starting in January 2010, ending in December 2013, stopping at the month interval. So discrete month treatment indicates discrete month chunks, one for each month with all years rolled up. We see 12 month headers here in the axis, as opposed to a continuous month treatment when the date range becomes an axis. I don't have individual headers, and we now have a continuous date range from the beginning of the data source, January 2010, all the way through the end, December 2013. So depending on how you want to visualize your data, you may want to treat your date periods as discrete or continuous. Now you know how to do it.